Welcome to a new vlog. Today we'll have a little chat on e-paper displays and you probably saw this in a post I made on my YouTube community page a few days ago. Uh, it was about my e-paper thermometer which suddenly showed the low battery uh, icon and it stopped working. I've only had this running for about one month um, and when I received it the battery was not connected, it had one of those uh, plastic isolating tabs so I thought it must have been an old battery or a bad one because it just couldn't have run out in just one month of usage. However, my viewers quickly pointed out that they were experiencing the same issue and it was not the battery. So the next thing I did was to take mine apart and measure the uh, battery voltage. And indeed they were right, the battery is not dead and it was in fact a bad contact on the battery socket. This is pretty easy to fix, I think I just need to bend a little bit these uh, spring contacts to ensure a better contact with the battery for future use. But on the same uh, community post someone replied uh, somewhat off topic but they said this is clearly a segment e-paper display and that's how they can keep the cost down. And I believe this was also mentioned in the original mailbag video where I got this. And while I agree this may be true, this video is sponsored by jlcpcb.com who recently upgraded their offer so you now get 24 hours turnaround time and you can choose any solar mask color for the same price of just $2. Prototyping is now faster and cheaper so it's definitely worth checking them out. Uh, I must say and show you that it's not obvious just by looking at the display. We can make a logical assumption and we may be right based on the price, but just by looking at the display I don't think it's easy to say that. And to show you this I prepared another e-paper display showing a couple of digits. They're similar in size, similar font. I couldn't find the exact font that they used on the uh, Xiaomi thermometer but it's a similar seven segment digital font. And if I put these two uh, together and bring them closer to the camera, sure the two displays are a bit different in uh, color and uh, contrast but I find it impossible to tell if um, one is a segment based display and the other one is a, a pixel based one. What could be even more confusing when a full screen refresh happens the Xiaomi thermometer behaves in a similar fashion by going all black and all white similar to what a pixel based e-paper would do refreshing the entire display surface. Now if you really want to prove this is a segment display I think more work needs to be done and if we just google for the numbers we find on the uh, flex cable nothing really shows up but I do notice the number is the same format as the number we find on the flex cable from my other e-paper display. This other display is from Waveshare and I'm not sure if Waveshare is a manufacturer maybe they just uh, use these panels made by someone else and they just build display modules on PCBs. So that doesn't help much in this quest. On this PCB we know they are using a uh, small 8-bit Holtec microcontroller and the part number is HT66F0182. And I know Holtec also makes a bunch of display controllers so I think it might be worth checking if Holtec makes any e-paper display controllers because it would make sense to get the microcontroller and the display controller from the same manufacturer for a better overall deal. Now if we do a Google search for these keywords e-paper segment Holtec the first result is exactly what we are looking for. It seems Holtec makes this driver chip and the part number is HT16E07. It's designed for driving e-paper segment display and it has a convenient SPI interface. So it's likely the designers of this product would have chosen to use this display driver from the same manufacturer. Now if I would want to reverse engineer this display and maybe use it for some other purpose I would start by probing these connections from the microcontroller to the display and figure out the pinout. This is most likely an SPI interface. Then using a logic analyzer I will take a look at the commands sent by the microcontroller for various operations like display refresh or display update. I would then reference the recorded commands with the ones given in the datasheet of this controller chip and if they match then I would be pretty certain that's our chip used on the uh, e-paper display. That would confirm that they are using uh, an e-paper segment display and from there it should be pretty easy to uh, send our own, own commands and uh, repurpose this. And if 
and you could also go all the way and redesign this whole internal PCB to have another microcontroller, maybe with a Wi-Fi or a Bluetooth connection. I don't know, whatever you can think about it. So I'm not sure I'm going to follow that idea. It was just something that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, that the fact that just by putting them next to each other, uh, one could be a segment e-paper display, the other one could be pixel based and you can't tell just by looking at them. My initial thought was just to uh, replace the battery, but uh, as it happens, I was already inside the unit. I said, why not address this topic as well? That was all for this uh, short weekend video. I hope it is somehow useful to you. Maybe you learned something from this or maybe you have the same uh, problem with the low battery icon shown on this thermometer. It's likely not the battery, but just a uh, bad contact. Let me know what you think in the comments below and I will see you next week with a new video.